Hey guys, welcome back to Zonkun 64. And lag, wow. In the last episode... Are we lagging? I can't even tell. Yeah, we're lagging, aren't we? Hold on. Wow, that's bad. Okay, so in the last episode... Don't worry, we're just, uh... Ponytail glitching, uh... Uh, model glitching outside of the boundary, reflection of the light, but nothing to worry about. Anyway, last episode we got heaps of progress done in half an hour or so. And this episode we're going to continue getting the rest of the bananas in this level, which is basically just tiny. And then getting uh, colored bananas for the rest of the cons, which I believe is donkey, chunky, and maybe tiny. So anyway, in this little area, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'll figure it out. So we've got crystals here. Also, we need to find another fairy, which I'm guessing will probably be in here. Oh, it's a bonus game. We still need to find another fairy in this area? I gotta check. Yes, we, no we don't. Never mind. We found one in the sunken ship and one in the... in the chest outside where... Uh, Cranky's... Oh, great, the bug last. Cranky's heart is anyway, is where it was. So this episode, what's what's some bugs? Oh, no music, huh? This could be interesting. We gotta get halfway or something. Always gotta get at the very end of the game when all is said and done. Yeah, don't go for the circle, kids. You usually, if you get cocky, they usually get splat. Yeah, that was the music. Okay, there we go. Tiny gun. That's everyone's bananas. Now, let's see. Tiny is done with bananas. So all we need to do now is get Chunky 5 bananas and Donkey Kong 15 bananas and we're done with um, Gloomy Galleon for the rest of the game. Do I have... I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to read the, the manual for the other stages like I said, but no one watched that episode. I didn't think. No one watched me read the manual. No one ever reads the manual. But, um... Yeah, I'm probably still gonna have to do it anyway. Well, um, this was this was. Games remembers what sea level it was and just goes, oh well, better change that. Oh yeah, I've got Diddy there. I know where some donkey banana uh, colored bananas are, so we'll go head that way. Oh, that's somewhat useful, I guess. Not really now. So into the pad we go. Now, if you remember, um, if you use Zeo, which is not in Swordfish's name, I just can't remember what his name is, we have opened this little pathway and it led to a lot of Donkey Kong's colored bananas, as you'll see now by the limitations. But the uh, limitation was covering them until then, so a nice suspenseful moment. So, pretty much all the bananas here are enough. Or it should be enough. Am I missing one? Or is this enough? Yes, we won't go enough. Okay. Now, I'm going to look around for a while with Chunky, and I'll meet you guys when I find some of these bananas. See you guys then. See you guys then. Bleh. 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 Too hot today. Too hot. That surprisingly took a long, long time. Um, there's some bananas on top of the two port here for good old Chunky. And with that, we've got all banana mills and everything else we need to get in the stage. So therefore, we can go fight the boss now by my own logic. And lucky for us, right behind here is some more Diddy Bananas. I found a lot of Diddy Bananas at everyone else's bananas. This Chunky was so well hidden. Anyway, we'll go with Chunky first. So we need 250. So 75, blah blah blah, 150, blah blah blah, 75 again, blah blah blah, 225. Oh god, we have to use all the cons. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Hmm, miscalculation. I was counting by 60s. Why do my birds come off it there? It's a bit weird. Besides, I have more than 75 of each con. So, what do you fight for you? <laughs> it's all like the lanky balloons near the, the Battle Royale area. That was a, quite an annoyance. For lanky, anyway. Now, um, Diddy, they'll just like next to the power, we can get 10. We need 90. Does any con have n is any Oh, okay, you'll just miss it around there. Does any con have 90? Of course they don't. Yeah, it's 
A little idle animation. Okay, next I guess we'll do uh, Diddy. And we'll follow up with Blanky. I'm not holding B there, I just clicked it and so it's, I think it's gonna count it anyway, so whatever. Okay, what? I didn't even finish that animation. It, it literally held onto it and then gave me control. Does it give me control here? That's very interesting. It shouldn't give me any control, but and it didn't. It just expected me. Okay. Hey, and last, we'll do it with Lanky. Because, surprise, surprise, this level is a Lanky boss. Okay, seriously. Game. Tov and Scoff. And the winner is... Lankycon! Since I haven't actually showed this off yet, I'm, maybe I did on the first stage, but uh... If you try to go into the area with any other con except for the con required, the door will immediately slam in your face. Like so. It's toying with us. We can probably glitch in there. Even if we did, it wouldn't let us load anything from the model and the game will probably crash. So let's go in. Huh. <sighs> this looks anticlimactic. I mean, we're in a coconut in the middle of a downpour. In the okay, that looks a bit messy. Uh, Linky con, your elbow's missing. You're also in the middle of the lake, so it's probably very cold. And get some heat off the light. Lintel there. Oh, look at that, it's a giant puffer fish. And we're dead. Okay, so there's a drive, there's a jump. This boss spell is a timed event. You have to get through all the DK rings to activate these hints. I'm not gonna tell you what they do though. You just have to see. Here's a hint. It involved pretty much everything that every boss fight has had except the second boss. Literally, everything has had this kind of element. Can you guess what it is? And truth of the matter is, it's turning around. Electricity! And water, which is extremely painful. I recommend you don't try it. Anyway, soon enough, instead of shooting fireballs, it's insanely faster. He'll do a jump, like so. And this jump is a very powerful indeed. And I drove right into it. The time resets every time you go through a single rin, and time will get shown by 5 seconds each uh, round. Nice, nice way to crash. So I'm gonna try to get away from that. We can get this, so. Then we'll uh, wait it out and look for the next one. There you are. Right into that. No, no, no jump for you. Anyway, since it's connected to water itself, if you'd like this in mid air puff of fish electricity, it wouldn't have really worked. I don't like this bus, I just don't like it. It's not that it's not too challenging, but that jump, it just messes with everything at one point. And if you miss a ring, you have to do the whole start of it again. Now it's raining fire, which is never good. So where's the next one? He's also getting bigger, if you can't tell. Giving you less space to drive. There we go. I think he has one more phase. Here comes the last phase, kids. The phase of getting behind him, apparently. Or oh, it's first, I don't know what's gender. Anyway. In the comment section, what gender do you think this giant pufferfish is? So I don't know the name of it because I didn't like it. Oh, here comes the jump. Oh, fake me out. Anyway, 
where are you? There you are. Wait, what sort? Oh, there it is. Hey, one more. Where are you? Hello. And good night. Also, you need five phases, which would be res five seconds for each run. That seems a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, screw me then. Still going with 10 seconds since the rings have now shrunk. He's going for a jump now. That's cheap. You even dare go for a jump. Oh, there's shooting homing puffer fish at us. Yeah, you heard me right. Alright, next one. Where are you? I'm using my increased vision to find you. Hello. Increased vision does not help in turning. Where's the next one? Gotcha. And that, yeah, that's it. <laughs> We're done. Not that bad, but I still don't like it. Oh, how dare you glitch the screen to become smaller and look really bad. Damn it, game. But we're over this. And the buffer fish goes down. And down. And <laughs> increasingly down. Anyway, the hardest part of that fight is pretty much the beginning where he starts using his jump attack because that, that'll just throw you off and you'll take damage. His homing shots and his raining fireballs, oh, it's raining fireballs, blah blah blah, not that menacing. Nothing to worry about with them. And with that, we have finished this area. And game. And now you suddenly become laggy. I wasn't laggy that whole fight, were you? And I just didn't notice. Oh wow, it was laggy that whole fight and I didn't even notice. Hold on. It's amazing. I didn't notice. It, it wouldn't have helped me either. My control should have been off. So, uh, I don't know. It, maybe it did help me? I cheated that fight, apparently. Anyway, it seems to be running at good speed now. Oh yeah, still looking for an Akuno. Yeah, uh, I got 639 Pokémon, and that's the last Kanto Pokémon I need. It's annoying me now. If I even got Mew, and I still have not run out of Akuno, it's like yeah. Anyway, fourth lock done. The next episode, we'll be heading to the new area. Or maybe Angry Aztex again. I don't know. I, I still need to finish Angry Aztex. Canyons in a new area? Are we going to Spaceland? Well, you have to find out next time. So, see you guys then.